How many presentations have you seen that start with, hello, my name is? I'm guessing quite a few. While it's important to talk about yourself in the introduction, starting this way is really a missed opportunity to engage with your audience. That's why I would recommend the following ABCD model for presentation introductions. Attention, benefit, credibility, and direction. Now, let's take a look at these in some detail. First, attention. You want to grab your audience's attention right from the very start. And there are several techniques to do this. Ask a rhetorical question. Give a startling fact or statistic. Provide a definition. Use a quote. Use an analogy or a metaphor. Tell a story or anecdote. Tell a joke. If you are using visuals, you can also consider using a visual attention graph. Basically, if you are able to evoke some kind of emotion or response from the audience, you're using pathos, one of Aristotle's modes of persuasion. You can learn more about these in our videos on rhetorical questions, paradigma, horismus, and modes of persuasion. Now let's see that in action. Most applications in your mobile phone represent a dead or a struggling 20, 20th century industry. Well, let's move on to benefit. You want to establish the importance or impact of your presentation topic for your audience. Why is this topic important for you, for them, for society, for industry, for your research field, for another research field, for a given context or location, and so on? Often, the benefit can complement your attention grammar. Now let's see that in action. You might wonder that what is uh... What, what, what has uh, urban planning or land use planning to do with health and well-being? Well, you already heard that my background as a professor of, of land use planning is a bit unusual. So maybe you can understand my personal interest towards the kind of uh, uh, human aspects to, to planning and, and, and design. Uh, so health would be a very uh, natural choice for me. There is also uh, a more general interest. Plan uh, Bournet wrote already some 10 years ago that planning and health is big news. This had to do a lot with a paradigm change in environmental health research. The traditional uh, environmental health uh, research focused on illness producing characteristics of environment. Uh, like pollution, etc. But this uh, uh, first wave uh, environmental health research uh, was complemented with a second uh, wave uh, environmental health research paradigm that was focusing more on the health promotive aspects of and uh, characteristics of environment. And that uh, paradigm change uh, brought urban planners, planners very much to the scene. Let's move next to credibility. On this point, you need to tell the audience who you are and why we should trust you. You need to establish some credibility. According to the French sociologist, Pierre Bourdieu, society places a lot of value on specific social and cultural assets belonging to a person, and you can use those assets to establish your credibility. Some common examples of this include your education or field of study, your occupation, your personal experience with a topic or context, your membership in different groups or institutions related to the topic, establishing shared values or a common understanding with your audience. Now let's see that in action. I'm a radio astronomer and I work at Metsavi Radio Observatory which is the only radio astronomical observatory in Finland and also a significant research and learning infrastructure of Aalto University. 
This is our radio telescope, and I'm almost tempted to say it's my telescope, because astronomers often get quite passionate about their instruments. And why not? I mean, big dishes like that, they're quite impressive, and you can do lots of exciting things with them. And finally, let's look at direction. In most presentations, you should give a brief overview of the presentation. For shorter presentations, it's often enough to say a few sentences covering the main points of the presentation. For longer presentations and more formal presentations, you may want to include a content slide with a more detailed list of subtopics. Now let's see that in action. My presentation today is about sustainable fashion futures and I'm going to approach this uh, topic to the following themes. I'm going to talk about scale, time, aesthetics, responsibility and collaboration. 